Blake Wally of the New American Media, and I am here at the Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, California, talking to some of the participants, trying to figure out what's bringing them all there. And right now, I am being joined by... My name is Gabra Hutzbeth, and I'm with uh, Revolution Los Angeles, a local grassroots organization working to create change um, at the local level for people in our community. We're glad to have you, and you. we are also being joined by... Hi, my name is Heidi Kang, and I'm a part of Revolution LA as well as an activist, and I'm also a Reiki practitioner. Oh, cool. Very cool. All right, well, it's good to have you both here. I am here for the truth, as we all are. <laughs> um, you know, we live in a time of quote-unquote fake news, and, and it's really hard to, you know, get a straight answer as to what's really going on in the world. So it's just amazing to be able to come to a place where people have come together collectively for that purpose, to find the truth of what's going on and to find the truth within themselves and to help themselves grow. I think definitely personal expansion of consciousness. Um, so I like to learn about anything that can help me you know, come to peace and center myself and to learn the truth of myself and to learn to love myself and accept myself. Because I think when you learn learn to love and accept yourself, you do that with others. So and that you know just kind of has like a domino effect. And that's what we do right now. Oh, very interesting. Like crystals or chakras or all of healing, that. I just any, I just bought. Okay. I love it all. I just yeah. bought a huge um, organite pyramid. And so I'm gonna go home and meditate with that, and maybe try and clear some energies yeah. out of my life yeah. and see what's blocking. Me. So yeah, so I love anything like that. So the reason why I'm here is I want to connect with like-minded people on the same frequency. I think we're living in a really special time right now in the age of Aquarius where a lot of yeah, things that used to be hidden from us are now coming to light and you know it's just an inevitable expansion of consciousness on, on every level. Just basically be around people that are on the same frequency so we can all elevate together and, and ascend together. Right. I think there's just so much amazing things that are going on from like the from its full disclosure programs to health and wellness to just like spiritual uh, practices. And I'm basically into it all, so I just right. kind of wanted to kind of, I guess, like, put, little my bit finger, of everything. Yeah, yeah. put my finger in every pie and that kind of thing. No, it's, uh, it's a good way to do it. So, what do you think about like uh, hidden knowledge? Like, what's going on? Like, what do, what do you think is like the most biggest conspiracy or the hidden knowledge that's being kept from us that you might find here and not elsewhere? in regular culture and media. Anyone who wants to um, jump on that. I would say one of the biggest things that was being kept kept from us for, for almost thousands of years now in, in the old paradigm is, is is the power that we all have as individuals and also as a collective. We're all each very, very powerful beings. We all came here for very specific reasons. And our just our thoughts alone and our and our feelings and emotions alone are exponentially more powerful than than the elite want us to believe in because they want us to keep us keep us numb they want us to keep us apathetic and, and depressed because they know that if if we all rise up and we all own our power and step into into our collective power then they then this this false reality that they've built so that they've spent so much time building up is going to collapse and i already feel like the illusions of of this false reality is already crumbling now and that's why you know these kind of events are so important it's because you're connecting with different people it's like you know you're not the only one you know like this is the truth this is happening inevitably there's nothing that they can do to stop it because more and more people are waking up you know right. one person can come to this event who knows nothing about spirituality or consciousness they go go back to their friends and family hey like i just learned about you know energy and chakras and and ET alien hybrids and stuff and then you know it's just gonna keep trickling on yeah. and it's just like planting that planting that seed of, of awareness and, and Not sparking watching that curiosity. Yeah. Sure. Or they can watch the Cardassians and play Candy Crush. <laughs> but I feel no, like right. you know it's kinda of one of those things where it's like once you know something yeah. you can't unknow it, if that makes sense. Put the genie back in the bottle so to speak. Mm -hmm. Right. Good stuff. So did you wanna add it? Um, what do you yeah. think is like a, like a sacred space program or GMOs or what do people need to know or what? I think yeah. it's, I mean definitely a sacred space yeah. program. I think for me it's um, limitless energy because I mean. Ah, like Tesla? That, exactly. Okay. Because um, I mean once that is out of the box, you know, the oil oh, companies, yeah. the banks, all the corporations, they don't have the power of us that they have. Now, I mean, the earth gives us everything that we need in life to be literal, move 
slaves and to work. You know, Dan and I work the 40 40 scam and say 40 hours. Yeah, and both. Parents, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, for, for a corporation yeah. until you die. I mean, you're never living for yourself. So I think that I think that is probably the biggest thing because once once that is out of the box, then everything else comes. No, that's very true. I've heard, yeah, free energy would mm -hmm. just destroy the financial system exactly. almost overnight. Exactly. Yeah. And that, uh, yeah. And they can have that. <laughs> the power of our collective conscious, our, our individual consciousness yeah. and the collective um, is unstoppable. And, you know, once we all awaken to that and to realize, you know, your neighbor is not your enemy, and the banks and the corporations and your government is more so your enemy than your neighbor could be. It's artificial constructs. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's all an illusion. And so once once that, you know, illusion of this, of this matrix that we live yeah. in is destroyed, then, you know, there's nothing that we can't do for, for the positive. And I think, you know, yeah. so many people want that, they just don't already know of what's really going on. So. What our true potential exactly, might be. Exactly. Right. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Step into your authentic you, the authentic vibration that we all vibrate on as, as living beings in this in this universe is love. And we can't be afraid to love, we can't be afraid to connect, we can't be afraid to speak our truths. It's like stepping into into our power and owning that power and being in empowering each other as well as you know as powerful beings. Because just as you know, as important it is for the individual, if it's not being spread, then we can't all ascend together, which is which is I feel like the point of this this time we're living in now. It's it's about the collective collective consciousness that's being raised at such a level that it's going to heal the world. And unless that we don't we don't take the responsibility about healing ourselves, then we can't heal the world because everything starts from within us. So when we step into being our true, our authentic selves and not being afraid to express who we really are, then then the world is just gonna keep falling into these into these traps. We're gonna keep falling into these these, um, we either yeah, take control or the oligarchs or, will continue mm -hmm. to exactly. rule the show we, for we us. We take control or right. they're going to try to control us. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Glad thank to, you glad so to have much. Thank everyone you. here. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um,